Hello, I'm back for some more fun building this Bobinga guitar from the ground up. Part one showed making this rim. And if you made it this far, you'll find today's part to be a snap. So let's continue on. The rim was rough cut to width with a bandsaw. And the first thing to do is to finish the sculpted contour. For this, I have this sanding dish milled with a router using a large homemade apparatus that's too big to get out for show and tell today. This one has a cylindrical contour with a 36 inch radius curvature for the back of the guitar and I'll use a 54 inch radius cylindrical dish to sand the top of the rim. Now the rim is mounted solidly in the form for support and simply ground down making a hideous noise in the process. Some things just require patience. In order to provide a ledge on which to glue the back and top, this flexible kerfing or lining is glued on along the edge like so. I use reverse kerfing. I make the kerfing from quarter sawn Engelman spruce from Colorado on this dedicated sled and blade that I ground down to a one millimeter curve. Just making repeated cuts, engaging the little tooth on the sled for even spacing almost but not quite all the way through so that the wood becomes flexible. I've found with experience that a lightweight but stiff rim gives the best sound to my guitars. So I epoxy carbon fiber to the kerfing for extra stiffness. Just run the fiber through the epoxy and then carefully lay it on the kerfing. strand on the back and two strands on the top. And now back to the grind. For extra stability at the neck block, I place two flying braces, like so, which are patterned after these story sticks that have a good starting point for the complex angles, which are then sanded for a final fit. 
For easy access to the interior of this guitar, I'm going to cut an access panel in the tail. Here, the rims mounted with a routing template in place for the through cut using this series of bits. See how the bearing on the bit follows the template exactly, and hence the cut follows the template. And the same procedure with a little bigger template to make a ledge for the door. Now, the rough cut door on the template machined to fit on the table mounted router with the double bearing bit. A little sanding to fit. And then mark for thickness and curve along the perimeter and cut on the bandsaw about two millimeters thinner than the mark. Glue on the curved Bubinga showpiece. Time to trim the Babinga showpiece on the door and lastly a decorative strip is laid over the tail seam and door. First cut a groove glue in the strip and trim and there you have it Well, that's the end of part two of building the acoustic guitar from the ground up. In part three, we'll build the guitar top and back.